object and class structuring criteria. If you ask a question, what do you need to be able to identify the objects? Actually, you need the methods to follow to help you to identify the methods, to, to identify the objects. Actually, you need a method or approach that can help you to identify the objects. But unfortunately, there is no unique way that can help you to construct the object and the classes. So, what can help you to construct the object and the classes is just some guidelines that can help you to structure the object and the classes. So, here the criteria here the objects and the class structuring criteria is just provide you a guidelines to assist you to assist you to construct the system object the approach or this criteria this criteria is used for identifying the object of the real world So in this class, we are just giving you a criteria or some guidelines that can help you to identify the objects. So if you know all the kind of objects and classes, if you can categorize the object in the system, so you will be able to construct the object of the system. So as I mentioned, there is no unique way to help you to decompose the system into object because the decision is based on the judge and the analysis. So the criteria here is just help you to these to construct the system into object. So we start with the object categories or the class and the object categories. Actually first we categorize the object based on the rule in the application. So here we have four main objects and classes, categories. So the first one is the entity objects. The entity objects or classes, actually here we will not distinguish between the object and the classes since the object is an instance of the classes. So once we mention object or the class, it's same. So the entity classes use to represent the data, the information. For example, the user account in the bank system, the account of the user is entity object. So the entity object is a software object that save or store the information and provides access to the information. The boundary object, the boundary object also is the software object that interface or communicate with the external environments, communicate the system with external environments, while the control object it's coordinate the objects, coordinate other objects. The last application logic 
object the application logic object is also is a software object that contain the details of the application logic and we need it in the application when we want to encapsulate some methods from the system or from the design of the system so in boundary object in boundary object in boundary object there is many type of the objects control object also have many type of the object so in this class we will see this object in details so before we start we can say that determined all the object is more important it's more important than identify or categorize this object so here we will categorize or we will uh, explain the object based on the category based on the the role that it's play in the system but in the end identify the object is more important than categorize the object 